back everyone been plugging away at this here I think I'm getting a little better at it when I say that I could be wrong I could be wrong yeah, I think I'm gonna put one more large log on here and nope nope wrong one there we go we can pick this up. I feel like I want to reverse the right mouse and left mouse uh, buttons. Okay, let's go around this way. And rotate. Honestly, I feel like it works better if I talk it out, what I'm doing. I'm going to pull that up a little bit. And the claw looks like it's going crazy. There we go. Alright, I could probably fit another log on there, but I don't think I could fit it all, so... Let me just jump out. I think there's one here that I can manually pick up. Alright, let's grab this. Is that good? I think that's good. I think that's good. Now, let me get this out. I think that's about as low as I can get. Anyways. Alright, strapped in. Now, I got a log in the way here, so I hope I can have my way around it. There we go. I could probably fit more on there, but I just don't want to take the risk. Oh, going uphill. It gets stuck in first gear sometimes. It won't switch to second. Alright, let's go get this sold. We've got 3700 bucks, And I did a little research online we'll go shopping in a minute oh sketchy um we'll go shopping in a minute but come on oh boy we're struggling a bit there is an upgrade to this motor and i don't think it's expensive so we might we might look at that now, i did put traffic back on but i think i'm going to turn it back off again that one's kind of long. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so I was looking at the tree stumps. We do need to clear out the farm. Like I really want to... I don't want to live in a tent all my life. So um, I was looking at the tree stumps trying to figure out how I was going to do that. No lumberjack and uh, basically the cheapest uh, stump grinders that I thought were available um but were expensive you know like they were i don't know more expensive than the tractor itself so you know i was kind of like uh i don't want to spend that kind of money i don't want to take on more leases so i dug around and i found something really cool really cool that i had no idea was a thing and uh, we'll get into that in a minute uh let's just say that choosing this tractor was brilliant Brilliant. I didn't know it at the time, but it was it was brilliant. So let's go get this sold and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. We might head right to the shop from here. But yeah. I've tried this before and got frustrated and gave up. This time I'm not giving up. Alright, what do we think? Seven seven thousand. Ugh. It was less than I thought. Okay, let's drop this down. Put that over. Tuck that in a bit. And yeah, that's good enough. Okay, let's head to the shop. We're gonna do we're gonna buy a couple of things.
but it's going to solve all my lumbering forestry issues. I think I can go this way. Lumbering. That's not really the proper word. Alright, see you guys at the shop. Notice that the signal indicators on this tractor does not work and the trailer doesn't have any. So, risking it, we're risking it. I'm gonna check on the price to upgrade this tractor as well. Although, you know, I think we could probably spend money in better places. I can make this work, you know? Okay, we're almost there. Okay, I'm gonna jump around the back here. Poor little gator here. Or we're actually going to use that much, but we're not allowed to sell it, so... Uh, let me throw this here for now. I'm going to... I need to bring the uh, tractor into the shop. With some modifications. So it turns out that this tractor here is actually a forestry tractor. I didn't know that. I just saw a tractor. Didn't really look at the options that were available for it. So let's start with... Um, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's a lease, I can't modify it, oh my goodness, that sucks, that sucks, I had a plan I'll show you what I'm I'll show you what I'm thinking about and uh, I'm gonna do it this episode but we're just I gotta show it to you now um, so this tractor here is in the small tractor category on my computer it's way down near the end I should just actually just grab this thing um, right around here somewhere here it is so this is it right here if you look at the combos, there's a variety of different things which are confusing a little bit. Um, but this here is a special blade support. So that's 4,200 bucks for this. And um, this is the interesting piece right here. It's a plow. I can prepare fields with this by plowing, right? Okay, good. It's a leveler for chaff. It also mulches and remove tree stumps and bushes this little thing here i freaked out when i found it and i actually went on a like I, I wasn't you know i thought it maybe was a bug um um it, or mislabeled i guess but it actually does all that stuff so the work mode is open fields tear down trees you can set it to leveler mode um this is what I would probably work with but in order to um, put this on I need to set the tractor to a certain mode like if I was this is not ours this is a new one um, if I go into uh, where is it attachers uh, front loader here we go I have to put it into this mode this is uh, a special thing that allows me to load, put that special front loader on. So I can't do that with a leased vehicle. How much does that suck? So we're going to do something here, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do, I want this. Absolutely want this. We're doing it this episode. And uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to sell a bunch of wood. I'm going to do it pretty quick. I think I'll do it off camera for the most part and uh, bring you guys back once I've gotten a couple of loads delivered. I need, if I want to buy this tractor, um, if I want to purchase it, it's going to cost me $19.9. I only have 8600 
So... Well, that's a problem. Oh man, I wish I could sell that gator. Alright, so... I'm gonna do that, guys. I'm gonna go sell some wood. I'll be back uh, in a bit after I've sold some. And we'll continue on with this episode. I, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to record another hour of me cutting down trees and loading them into this. Um, we'll do a little bit, but I don't want this to make a, a main a main part of the uh, the episodes. So it was already episode three was already painful enough. I'm, I'm thankful for those of you that that had the patience to get through it. So okay, I completely forgot this was leased. That's the problem with leased vehicles, right? And, um, you know, I can't, it's not like I can sell it or return it. Um, but I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but even if I did do that, I wouldn't have money to buy it and buy this tractor anyway. So, may as well just earn the money. We'll get it. And it'll be ours. And then we'll modify it and add, um, those functions. It kind of means like I need to. Bring the bank account up to about 30,000, which is going to be a little tricky. Um, that's why I'm going to, you know, jump cut it. So hang in there, guys. I'll be back in a minute. You can use the horsepower upgrade, too. Those couple of logs that are up there. and But I'm going to start clearing out this area here. This is kind of the flatter area and kind of where we're going to build the farm, so... Yeah. That blade also cuts down trees. It doesn't limb them, though. So... Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, let's get started. Let's get started. We'll start with this, this big guy. I'll see you guys in a minute. Just... Slugging away at these guys here. Just gonna cut a whole bunch down and I'll load some up. Uh, I can't see the tree. There we go. Uh, where am I at with this? Let's get this one chopped up. I cut down four big trees, I think, and I'm thinking that might actually be enough. It's just going to be a painful load process. Oh, I miss my auto loaders right now. I didn't think I would have to do that in, in bulk, you know? We got one load done. I may have overdone it. So they're cut. I seem to have cut them a good size, though. They're not too far. They don't hang out too much. They did a pretty good job. It's just really slow. It's kind of fun in a way. Honestly, it is kind of fun. I need to uh, need to look up my Farmer Mike video on how to properly program my joystick. We put it together a nice um, joystick programming video, and uh, I have one. I just have not had the time to get to it. I do have my steering wheel set up, though. No, thought I turn that off. Okay, all right. Hang on. Let's let's just do this. I don't want to deal with that. I clearly forgot. I think I mentioned at the beginning of the episode that I had turned it back on, but... It's really nice for flavor. The problem is that they're not very good drivers. Definitely. I mean, I, I should have looked. Um, but I remembered that it was on. But um, they don't stop at stop signs. They speed. I wish that was a little bit 
I would be more tempted to use it if they were, re, you know, reactive drivers. Um, if they were a little bit, had better AI to them. Alright, let's see if we can get up this little bump here. This is a pretty good sized load, so I think we're going to get more, I'm thinking maybe 6,000 for this one. I still got a long ways to go, guys. So, this is a bit of a curveball in this episode. That's okay, though. It's okay. It doesn't shift gears. I have to keep remembering, I keep forgetting. It'll go from 2nd to 3rd to 4th, no problem. It's just getting out of 1st where I need to help it. Just before I started recording this episode, I was uh, looking out the window. And there was... there's been... since last night, there's been some really high winds. At, at the house and um, this morning we we had fabricated a kind of a makeshift greenhouse um, out of an old car those temporary oh, what do we got here 67 nice uh, out of those old carport things you know those those um, you know it's basically a frame and frame and a tarp kind of concept uh, you can buy them reasonably cheap. Anyways, we had one of those and we decided to try to make a greenhouse out of it. So we put um, put up the frame and then wrapped it in uh, basically it's vapor barrier, clear plastic, thick, thick, clear plastic. The winds were really strong this morning. Um, stronger than I've seen them in, in a long time. And... This thing started lifting off, even though we had it fastened to another building on one end. Uh, it started lifting off, and so I went out to try to save it, but uh, by putting down some cinder blocks on the on the legs, and uh, and the top ripped off of it. So we got to redo the roof and figure out how to fasten it a little bit better. But it's raining outside, it's miserable, so that's going to be a project for another day. Alright, let's go get another load. We're at 15,000, so I need I need to do at least two more loads to make this happen. I'm going to get that done, and I'll be back to you guys in a minute. I'm just going to do it completely off camera. We'll get that bank account going again. Alright, another load. This one... I don't know what I was thinking with these cuts. I got short ones, I got one long one. Oof. I forgot to mention... Um, come on. I forgot to mention that um, in the last episode we were drilling the field. Uh, our, our little field. And um, I decided to try the worker. Uh, to do it just to see how much it would cost and it, it was expensive it cost me over five hundred dollars to get a worker to finish that field so we can't do that should lower this oops maybe if I there that would be better I don't know what the standard protocol for tucking that away is but all right, we're at 21. I could actually buy this tractor out right now, but I can't afford to buy the upgrades. So we got to do one more load. All right, I'll be back. All right. Managed to shove a bunch of logs together. There's still some scattered about, though. Right about there. These are smaller. These are some of the smaller logs. Let go. Oh, let go. Oh, jeez. 
No, 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 no. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting more and more sloppy. These I can pick up by hand. Yeah, this one's small enough. That's the nice thing about the small ones. This one? No, not that one. This one? Well, you know, I might, this might be enough. This might be enough. I'll push my luck a little bit here. What else do I have? What about this guy? Can I put this guy right here? No, a little bit higher. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. Alright, so this is gonna be... This is gonna be our final... Delivery for this for this episode anyway. Come on. Wonder if I should have a different kind of lumber business, I guess. Uh, maybe some logs, firewood, kind of thing. Maybe wood chipping. This is good money, though. It's just, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a fair amount of work, but it's good money. I was watching um, Northern Farm Sims first episode, which uh, went uh, last Friday, I guess. And um, he got talking about something that I hadn't really considered. Um, when, when starting this and he got talking about um, him wanting to maybe just start on that piece of land and then harvest it and then sell it and and move move somewhere else I hadn't really thought of that concept um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not I actually kind of think that I'm not, but it's an interesting idea. Nothing nothing in the rules against selling the land you start with. Uh, obviously, it's nice to get something back from it, you know, um, like all these trees, but, but an interesting idea. There are some awesome places to set up shop on this map. There's all kinds of areas where you could set up a farm, either build it yourself or there's some existing existing buildings. There's the base, you know, default farm as well, which is uh, it's pretty ready to go. Um, I think it's got a field it comes with a field it comes with a chicken coop and a pig barn, I think. So so that's definitely an option and I, I don't remember uh, I could check it in a second here, but I don't remember how much it's worth compared to the, the piece of land that uh, that we started with. Okay, what am I thinking? It's five to six thousand somewhere in there. Oh, not even five. Okay, I think it's enough to do what we want to do, though. So, yeah, let's bring this down. We'll bring this in. There we go. All right, let's buy us a tractor. This will be our tractor. We can do what we want with it. Now we're heading back to the shop again because we got to modify it. It's like a little deja vu. I'll see you guys there. So as I was driving by this, I was looking around. I decided to stop here thinking that there would be collectible here. I don't know what this says. I don't know if anybody knows that. Um, you know, it looks like a tombstone. Pretty much be sure it's a tombstone. And I stumbled across this when I was looking at it. So there's our thousand. And to be honest, um, I think I might actually need it. 
I was just doing a rough math on what the accessories are that I want to buy. And uh, I think I was just going to come up short, so that might that might cover it. But that's our collectible. I would love to know what's on that in that grave. Um, what do they call those? Um, mausoleum? No, that might not be the right word. Anyway, all right, off to the shop. All right, let's do this again. The first thing we need to do is buy this out. Automatic handbrake sets itself. All right, so we're going to go into our leases. We're going to go into here. We're going to purchase it. 19940. And that's painfully ours now. Okay, so now we can upgrade it. I'm not going to repaint or repair it because money is kind of tight. So we're going to do the primary thing. Which is, yeah, you can put a power um, front loader on, but you need this one. This is the one that's required for that special thing. So that's 1500 bucks for that. So let's pick that up. Is there anything else I want to do here? Uh, standard with dual hydraulic command. Wheel weights are on. Uh, engine protection. Blah, blah, blah. Frame setup. Want that I don't want that lights not gonna play with that uh, let's just look at the engine setup oh it's only a thousand oh wow I, I, I knew it was cheap I didn't know it was that cheap um, okay let me get the other thing first just in case I'm, I'm gonna upgrade it if I can afford it um, but let me see if Turn that off. One ten. One fifty. One hundred. Oh, there's a whole bunch of different settings. How do I get rid of this cost? It's forcing me. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's the base at eighty one horsepower. Okay, so I need a thousand bucks. Okay, let's do the other thing first. So, um, I already lost 3,000 on that. So, uh, jump in here. I'm going to scoot down near the end. Right here. Combination. This is what I want. Now, this I'm not sure about. I tested it. Uh, but I didn't fully test it. Like I don't remember how, how I tested it. So I'm going to go with all the settings. 42. Just an extra 20 bucks. Extra 10 bucks, 20 bucks. I assume that's not going to be a problem. So we'll buy that. I could lease that. but And then we need the blade itself. Which is 1500 and open fields and tear down trees. So this acts as a plow. Kind of cool. Um, okay, so we're going to buy that as well. And we have $1,770 left. And guess what I'm going to do? Guess what I'm going to do? Actually, let me, just before I make a mistake, let me... Go put all that stuff on, make sure I didn't screw up. And I'll get the upgrade, the upgraded engine. 150 is going to be massive for this, for this map. Oh, 
Wait, where's the upgrade? It didn't take. What the heck? Did I not do it? See, this is why I wanted to do this first. Now I don't know if I have enough money. Jeez. Customize. I thought I put it in there. 1500. Yep, I'm glad I didn't buy. I gotta get this on here. 270 bucks left. I guess I'm delivering another load of woods. Uh, lo another load of wood. Let's try this again. I know myself pretty well, right? But about the upgrade, I would be stuck now. I'd have to go cut down more wood. Ooh, that's pretty close. There we go. Put that on there. Now, this is not a normal front loader, so I can't put normal front loader things on here. And that's, you know, could be a problem for the future, but I expect we're probably going to buy another tractor at some point. We'll just make sure that one has a front loader. All right, back to the farm. And I want to take this for a spin. It's kind of interesting the way it works. It actually, it, it doesn't totally make sense, to be honest. Um, you have to turn it on. You have to turn on the blade. I don't know what that means. Should have seen if I could grab that big bag with the with the claw and put it into the back. Wrap it on. Okay, here we go. I drop off the trailer for now. Need that. Now I'm gonna pop up the menu, and it's considered a plow. Um, if you look at the menu, there's a B button for turning it on. There's a sound. And it says there's an animation. Um, that's on. I don't really know what the animation is. But if we go through here. It acts just like a... I don't know if you saw that, but... Uh, kind of hard with the trees. Let's go find another one. Here's one. So... If you do it above ground... Now watch, watch this. Oops, come on. Come on. If I drop it down further, I can get to tree. If I drop it down even further. Oh, no, maybe not. Let's try it on this. Yeah, it munches that. So it's just like a mulcher. Oops, I don't want to kill that. That's a good piece of wood. And if we run over... Let me bring this up so I don't... Kill anything accidentally. Go over to the edge here because there's some bushes. Like this bush here does not work well with chainsaw. Gone. Gone. This thing's kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. I'll show you what it does with a tree. Let's jump back down where we want to cut some trees down. As well get this while we're here. How's that for beautiful? Okay, give me another tree. This one here. I hope it doesn't delete it. I don't think it does. There we go. Now if I turn that off, now it just becomes like a blade. And I can just shove stuff over. Knock it down, maybe. 
knock the tree down. There you go. And the blade also goes side to side. So this can be used for pushing the logs around. Turn it back on. There we go. How's that? How is that for a piece of work? So it doesn't do limbing though. So that's, you know, that's definitely a concern. All right. All righty. Okay, so uh, that's enough. That's enough trees for today. Uh, how are we doing for time? We still got a bit of time to deal with stuff. Well, let's have a look at that. Oh, I should check in here. A snowblower, that might come in handy later. Um, here's what I want to look at. I want to look at the map. I want to look at that concept. Okay, so this is our piece of land here. It's 207. Um, the property that is that has the base building on it, I think is this one. This one here. And um, is that the one? Yes, that's the one. So the house and everything is over here. That's only 57,000 for that. That's only 57,000 for a farmhouse, pig pen, a uh, chicken coop, a shed, and some grass. How great of a deal is that? Um, and then eventually you could add this to it. For the price of this, you could get both of these. And this is more field space here. So that's definitely a strategy that one could use. And um, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm kind of set on, on actually building my farm here. Uh, there's some opportunities for, uh, sorry, over here. There's some opportunities for more woods and fields and, you know, expanding out into this area. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But somebody else, this would be a, a really cost-effective solution. Even if you just went to that, that would free up like 160,000 bucks that you could buy equipment with. Heck of a start, right? So, okay. Yeah, we're going to stick to the plan now. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with it. Okay, so what's next? What's next for us? Uh, we were obviously money is a problem. I'm going to do some more tree clearing off camera. Uh, generate a bit more money. We're going to clear out these stumps and get ready to uh, put something in. I was thinking of the concept of... Actually, let's get some work done while... L less talking, more work. Um, 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 uh, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for contracts. There we go. Contracts. Uh, small contracts that we could do to make some money. Uh, we can do harvesting with our own equipment. Oh, what's this piece of equipment? That doesn't look legit. I don't know this harvester at all. That is looks like a sugar beet harvester with sugar beet headers. Two of them. That's weird. Uh, we'll stay away from that. Um, I could grab one of these and do it with my own equipment as long as it's not too far away. That's kind of the problem. Uh, five. That one. This one we could do. It's carrots. That uh, would take a long time, but um, this we could get a worker to help us with this one. Uh, this we could do as well with our own equipment. Let's have a look. One twenty-eight and one eighty-three. Let's see if they're not too far away. 128, this I don't like about this map. It's hard to find where your fields are at. So 128 is, that's a bit of a, it's a bit of a mess. 130s, I don't even see it. And the answer is you take them and they start flashing and they're easier to see, right? 128, 183, was it 183 an option? 183. 
That's a small harvest, though. So. Don't make much money off of that. But it is nearby. We're right here. Actually, it's not that close. Hmm. Where's the 128 one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is hard. It's hard on my eyeballs. Okay. Anyways, I'm not going to play that game of trying to find stuff. It's probably somewhere over here. I don't know. All right. I guess more trees. I guess that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, let's get on that. I think what we might do is wrap up the episode and I'll do take down some more trees and then we'll I really want to start building the farm itself it's starting to clear up now though I think I'm gonna leave a couple of trees by the road the ones that are right on the road I think I'll leave them but I might like remove the ones that are offset a bit these three are probably going to go, but that one's going to stay. This one's going to stay. This one's probably going to go. We got lots. Lots to do. I have to find my, my wood. So. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm going to call it for this episode. And uh, just because I'm not quite sure what I want to do next. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you're enjoying it and uh, hope you have a great day.